we're going to explain how to perform a long press in the Messenger app on Android. One, first, open the Messenger app on your Android phone. Two, locate the chatter message you want to interact with. This could be a specific message within a conversation, a contact's name in your chat list, or even a photo or video someone sent. Three, now the key part, place your finger on the screen over the item you chose. Don't just tap, press, and hold your finger down. You should feel a slight vibration or see a visual change on the screen after about half a second, indicating a successful long press. Four, once the long press is registered, you'll see a menu or options appear. These options vary depending on what you long pressed. If you long pressed a message, you might see options like copy, reply, forward, remove, add reaction, star, or search messages. Five, if you long pressed a contact in your chat list, you might see options like create shortcut, mark as unread, mute notifications, or view profile. Six, if you long pressed a photo or video, the options might include save, share, or view. Seven, simply choose the action you want to perform from the menu that pops up. For example, if you want to copy a message, select copy, and then you can paste it elsewhere. If you want to forward a message, choose forward and select the recipient you want to send it to. Eight, remember, the exact options available depend entirely on the item you long pressed. Experiment. Try long pressing different things within Messenger to see what actions become available to you. Nine, if you are having trouble getting the long press to work, make sure your phone's touch sensitivity is set correctly. In some rare cases, a screen protector might interfere, so try removing it temporarily to test. 10. Long pressing is a crucial feature in most Android apps, not just Messenger, so mastering this technique opens up many possibilities for interacting with your device and apps more efficiently.